Hey, Harley, how you doing? Yeah, what you want, BSC? You grow up, you pervert. Me? A pervert? I, I, I just had something in my eye. I wasn't winking at you, Harley. I, I, I swear. Good day, my friends, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. My name's Chris, and I'm the Batman statue collector, and I have been getting some incredible statues as of late, including the Jason Fabok Batman. But one of my favorites, of course, is the brand new Arkham City Harley Quinn from Prime One Studio. This is one-third scale, and I cannot wait to review this for you guys. It is, again, a statue that will take your breath away, although it is massive. It's going to take up some room for sure, and so I'm going to give you all of those details, of course. But if you are new here, if it's your first time watching, Watching, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. That does help with the YouTube algorithm. I'm going to quit talking about that stuff. Let's get into the review. All right, my friends, here we go. Here's Harley set up on the table. And obviously you can see she's a very big statue, one third scale, guys. Uh, two extra portraits. And you can also get the Jester portrait if you order directly from Prime One, which I ordered from Sideshow. Um, but I just can't wait to share my thoughts and opinions on this piece because it really is something special. Uh, we'll start with the base first. Uh, I do kind of have a telephoto lens going on right now. Let me kind of zoom in here so you guys can see it a little bit closer. Obviously, you have the Harley Quinn logo HQ with the dice, which is really nice. And you also have kind of that hand-hammered metal effect, uh, which is really cool along the entire base along with a wood effect. Uh, so I'm going to kind of spin the wood, um, uh, you know, the base. So you can see the wood. Again, you can see that detail. It's just really cool with all the silver. You also have the uh, Harley Quinn logo on the side, those diamonds. The back side is pretty much just repetitive. It's just, you know, again, looks great, but you're not going to really see it, uh, most likely. Uh, you also have, of course, that logo again on the other corner, basically. Again, it's round, which is the biggest downfall of this piece because the roundness is difficult to display. Uh, that's really one of the only nitpicks that I have about this piece is it's so massive. Uh, I will, of course, give you measurements and stuff, but it's round. So round bases are hard to display. Uh, it's basically a giant um, checkerboard, chessboard, whatever you want to say. Uh, it's actually probably bigger than a real chessboard, uh, which is crazy, but lots of great detail. Obviously, you have the black and white. You also have some really nice weathering on there as well, as you can see. Um, but it's some of the accessories that make it a lot of fun. Obviously, you have the sculpted uh, bullet casings, which is really cool. You also have the uh, cigarette ashtray which kind of grimes it up a little bit. I actually think it's kind of fun. Uh, you can take it off if you want. If you don't want it, uh, you don't have to have it. Uh, you also have the really cool whiskey bottle here. So this is uh, Johnny Daniels. It's not Jack Daniels, uh, but it's very, very fun. Obviously, it is meant to be like a Jack Daniel bottle. And this is a really nice heavy-duty plastic. Uh, really, really nice. Um, and so you can have it on the uh, on the base or not. Uh, but obviously, this is this is on the base. I actually think it would have been kind of cool if they you, if you, you could have taken that off if you didn't like it. Um, kind of like one of those novelty spill type things, but they chose to go ahead and have it on the base, so it's there. So you might as well have the bottle uh, spilled over as well. Um, might have been, maybe maybe would have been kind of cool to have like some residue on the bottom, just so it looks like there's still some in there. Um, but you also, of course, again, like I said, you have the bullet casings throughout the front of the base. You also have this jack in the box, which is a lot of fun, a lot of whimsy. You have the batarang going right into it. Also, whenever you move it, it's got a little bit of real movement because it's a real spring. Uh, the detail on it, you can see the texture, which looks great. It's not just flat. Uh, very, very nice with the black and red. Um, and this can be moved. Uh, most of the promotional videos and things had this on the back side, but I like it on the front. I think it's, uh, it's fun. Um, again, more shell casings pretty much just on the front. The back half doesn't really have anything. Um, it does have the mallet. I think this is wasted because uh, this this mallet is really, really cool, but it's on the back side of the chair. Um, and so you don't really see it. It's kind of hidden back here, but lots of great details. I think that's the biggest miss uh, outside of the size of the base, of course, is that this, this would have been cool having it up front somewhere uh, just so you could see it a little bit better. Uh, there's also, of course, the, uh, the, uh, the doll with the Joker doll, which is fun. Um, again, a lot of the promotional videos and photos has this up on the front. I just don't love it. It's not my favorite. Um, it's cute, but I would rather have the Jack in the Box up front. So I'm gonna hide him back there. Uh, he's got the tape around and he's got the bomb on the back, which again, fun. But if you don't like it, you can literally take it off and it would be fine. So anyway, no one's gonna know it's back there anyway, but anyway, uh, as we spin it, you're gonna see the bat. This is really nice. See the blood 
speckles on the actual base. That's a really nice touch. You also then have the bat uh, with the blood splatter going up. It's kind of hidden on the back side, so it's kind of brutal. You know, it's like she has definitely been up to no good. You can see it's shiny, uh, but it looks gross. It actually looks like blood. It's really cool. And then, of course, you have the bat effect going up. We'll look at that a little bit closer here in a bit. Uh, the chair effect is really great. You have the wood grain on all four corners. That leads, of, of course, into the boot. You're going to see the boot has some really great uh, leather texture. This is fully sculpted, guys, uh, but they did a really nice job going into the thigh-high boots, um, which is great. Let me show you the black boot over here. So that was red. You have black on this side. Same boot, obviously black, but look at the, look at the texture. Look at that cracking leather. It's really, really good. Very, very impressed. Uh, of course, you also then have the leather chair, uh, which is, again, one of the main stars of this piece. It looks really, really good overall. Obviously, her hand is pressed into it, so it shows you how lumpy the chair is, so that's fun. Uh, you got some great detailing on her um, hands with the, uh, the glove and the, the bracelets, so that looks good. And then, of course, we uh, start going up. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tease you guys just a little bit here before we go up too much further. I want to show you the rest of the chair Again, obviously great detail there. Uh, this is really fun on the back. I love this. This is, you know, God, it's just a, a sexy look. Again, it's kind of a sexy boudoir type of a chair. Um, you have the batarang going into it. That actually is a metal batarang, which is really cool. It keys right in and magnets in right there. Um, I just love the, the, the crisscross ties here. Again, it's just very, I don't know. I, I just feel like it's kind of erotic to me. Um, I love it. Uh, you got the studding all the way around. So that looks fantastic. Um, again, you just have some really great detail all the way through. So anyway, let's get back to her. So obviously this right here is really good. You have the, uh, the great effect of the tattoo um, and obviously her belt. I think that looks good. Uh, we'll look at her backside here in a second. Uh, you have the glove, kind of that, uh, you know, elbow high glove that she's wearing. Uh, I'm sorry, what is that, I guess? I don't know what those are called. Um, but that looks good. Again, it's fully sculpted. Uh, her corset, again, looks very good, realistic. It's got some really nice detailing there. I feel like they really captured it from the game. Uh, you do have that uh, translucent resin, which is a really nice skin texture. Again, I've got a bright light shining on it, so it uh, washes out a little bit on camera, but in, in, in real life, it looks a lot better. Again, you've got a great hand here. Um, and then that, of course, keys in right there. Again, you get another great tattoo right there, which is fun. And then, of course, this is the first of three portraits that I have. This is the winking portrait. I, I feel like this is the second best. I think it's a lot of fun. It definitely captures the spirit of her. These are metal earrings on both sides. I think the hair is sculpted really nice, better than the old Arkham Knight piece was. Definitely an improvement. You can see the wrinkles on her nose, all kind of bunched up as she's doing her wink smile. Just look at that, it's beautiful, right? Absolutely beautiful. Really, really pretty. I'm gonna stand up here and show you kind of from a different angle, the backside. Obviously you have that thong, very sexy. Again, going into her back, all the straps, the texture as you can see. Just really, really nice. And then again, that tattoo, which is fun. Some of the texturing on the couch itself or on the chair, kind of that couch material. You know, it's really, it's again, solid polystone, but it looks fluffy. Again, her body, incredible sculpt. Incredible, incredible sculpt. Show you some different angles here. It just looks good. I feel like this is uh, one of Prime One's best for sure. I do think it's probably one of the best Harley's ever made, if not the best. I know there's definitely some competition there. I want to show you the extra portraits here. So I've got this one right here. This one's a lot of fun. And this one is my third favorite though. Um, it's a little bit more serious. It's still the winking portrait. And I'll show what that looks like on. And I feel like this one right here is the main event. This is the one that people are probably gonna display it with. Really, really sexy is looking off to the side. 
Um, just absolutely gorgeous. You notice that there are the two extra stands, so that's really nice. But just look at those. Those are absolutely fantastic. All right, so let me show you what it looks like with those portraits on her body. Okay, here is portrait number two. Again, it's beautiful, but I still feel like I like the winking with the mouth open better. Um, she's a little bit, maybe a little bit more serious, still has a little bit of a smirk. And I still think that looks good overall, but just wait till you see the other one. Wait till you see my favorite. Again, it looks really good from all angles. But like I said, let me show you this one because this is the one you're all gonna love. See? <laughs> What did I tell you? This portrait, I mean, just is stunning. It is, she's pissed off, she's determined, she's sensual, like all of the above. It all works. Um, I just feel like this is one of Prime One's best ever portraits. Again, I feel like it looks good from all angles. Just really, really stunning. And this is, this is Harley Quinn for me. I know I like the playful fun Harley, but this is, oh my gosh, she is going to take your soul <laughs> right here. It's just incredible. Um, I just, I love it. I love this portrait. I think they did a phenomenal, phenomenal job with it. Ah, just absolutely gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous from all angles. I, I feel like this is a 10 out of 10 portrait for me. Probably as a statue as a whole, I would give it probably a 9.7 out of 10. Uh, some divot, you know, some divots there for the uh, size of the of the base, but again, overall, just a beautiful statue. You cannot go wrong with this one, guys. Uh, just FYI, the link is down below if you're interested. It's shipping right now from Sideshow, but good Lord, come on. Okay, I'm gonna give you, uh, give you guys some measurements next, but look at this thing. Good Lord Almighty. If this doesn't get your heart beating, I don't know what will. Okay guys, it's time to do some measuring and as you can see, it is really quite massive. Again, I've got my telephoto lens here, so the little wide lens so you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, but anyway, let's, let's do some measurement here. So whenever we're talking about in terms of just actual height, we're looking at about, oh, about 25 inches tall. And that is to the very top of her hair. So that's not a very, very tall statue for a third scale. But what kills you is the depth of this. So I'm gonna go all the way through Pardon me, Jack Daniels bottle. I'm gonna go all the way through, and again, we've got to go a little bit wider because of the uh, the bottom of this. So it's about 21 inches. So we're looking at 21 inches wide by 21 inches wide, uh, because again, or deep, excuse me, because you have a circle. So it is a massive, massive base that is not going to be easy to accommodate, but it is absolutely worth it if you have the space. So again, height's not too bad, but width and depth, definitely a concern if you're going to be uh, displaying this one. So there you guys have it, an incredible look at the Harley Quinn Arkham City from Prime One Studio. I am in love with this thing. I think it is the best Harley I've ever seen. And again, I've owned some really great ones, but this one, oh my God, she is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, from all angles, she just looks, I mean, look at that. She is just absolutely gorgeous. I could not recommend this one more. I highly recommend it. Again, the link is down below if you're interested. I know it's a little bit pricey for sure. It might not be for everybody. And again, that base definitely won't be for everybody in terms of the space it'll take up. But if you want a Harley Quinn that's going to drop your jaw every time you look at her and see her in your collection, this is the one, believe me. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, just thank you guys so very much for checking out the video today. Hope you all have a great rest of the day. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. Please like the video and please consider hitting the join button down below for early access to our videos and other bat, bat boxes and perks. And one other thing, I am going to put her in different places in my collection and that video will air tomorrow. I'm gonna to need your help because I've definitely got a dilemma with this piece that I haven't talked about yet. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the back cave. Bye everybody.